The 2007 to 2008 post-election violence in Kenya was largely triggered by allegations of widespread vote rigging and electoral fraud during the presidential election held in December 2007. A comprehensive investigation conducted by the Independent uncovered numerous instances of electoral malpractice, revealing the extent to which the democratic process was compromised. The findings shed light on the systematic manipulation of election results with significant discrepancies in voter turnout and ballot counts favoring the incumbent President Mwai Kibaki and his party of national unity, PNU. The following details provide insight into the vote rigging tactics employed and the numbers associated with these irregularities. 1. Systematic electoral fraud. The investigation revealed that systematic electoral fraud, including vote rigging and ballot box stuffing, had a decisive impact on the outcome of the Kenyan elections. In 88 of the 210 constituencies, voter turnout in the presidential election exceeded that of the parliamentary poll conducted simultaneously. This discrepancy amounted to a total of 380,944 votes, significantly more than President Kibaki's winning margin of 231,728 votes, too. Stuffed ballot boxes, instances of stuffed ballot boxes were reported in various constituencies across Kenya. Observers noted that both sides engaged in this practice with ballot boxes being filled with fraudulent votes to manipulate the election outcome. For example, in one constituency, the opposition candidate Rayla Odinga purportedly won 100.5% of valid votes, highlighting the extent of fraudulent practices employed. 3. Changed election results. There were reports of election officials changing results in favor of the incumbent president and his party. Counts were altered at local polling centers and the National Electoral Commission in Nairobi, largely to favor President Kibaki's bid for re election. In some cases, the election commission staff manipulated results to inflate the number of votes cast for Kibaki, ultimately influencing the overall outcome of the election. 4. Questionable turnout figures. Observations indicated questionable turnout figures in certain constituencies. With voter participation exceeding 100% in some instances. For example, in Moragua constituency, which predominantly supported President Kibaki, the voter turnout was recorded at 115%, suggesting irregularities in the electoral process. Similarly, inflated turnout figures were reported in other Kibaki strongholds, raising concerns about the integrity of the election results. 5. Manipulated counts and tallying accounts and tallying of votes were reportedly manipulated by returning officers and electoral commission staff to favor President Kibaki. Instances of adding fictitious votes, such as 5,000, 10,000, or 15,000, were observed, skewing the results in favor of the incumbent. Additionally, Discrepancies were noted between the total votes announced at electoral headquarters in Nairobi and those declared at regional tallying centers, indicating potential tampering with the electoral process. 6. Pressure on electoral officials. There were allegations of pressure on electoral officials by members of the ruling party of National Unity, PNU, to manipulate results in favor of President Kibaki. The head of the Electoral Commission admitted to being pressured and expressed uncertainty about the true outcome of the election. Senior PNU officials reportedly worked with Electoral Commission staff to alter results in key constituencies, further undermining the credibility of the electoral process. In conclusion, the evidence of widespread vote rigging and electoral fraud during the 2007 Kenyan elections underscores the erosion of democratic principles and the subversion of the electoral process. The manipulation of election results, inflated turnout figures, then pressure on electoral officials raise serious concerns about the integrity and legitimacy of the electoral outcome. The aftermath of the disputed election results led to significant political unrest and violence, highlighting the need for electoral reform and accountability to safeguard Kenya's democratic institutions.